Hi, it's Susan. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are taking another trip across the internet looking for free images that you can download and use in your artwork and that you can turn around then and be free to sell because they are free of copyright restrictions in the public domain or otherwise okay for you to use. Today we are going someplace big. I mean really, really big. This is Pickroll. I'm not sure exactly how you would pronounce that. P-I-C-R-Y-L, and I will put a link down below. What Pickroll is, is an aggregator. So what they do is they have a program that runs out to all these different websites, a lot of which we have already visited, and looks for the things that are in the public domain and that have no copyright restrictions, and then they bring them back here to this website and put them in collections under different topical headings for you to search for and then you can download directly from here. They really do their best to make sure that everything is in the public domain and okay to use but remember as always the responsibility lies on you to make sure that you are complying with the copyright laws in whatever country it is you live in and where you are selling your art. I am in the United States, so I am navigating things with a mind toward my United States copyright law. But the responsibility is on you as the creator to be familiar with the copyright laws in your country. All right, so when you first get here, you are going to just see on their, their home page, basically, go searching for a particular something or take a look at any one of their collections. They have many, many, many collections. So, for example, let's see... I searched for children's books. Look at here. You have so many beautiful, look at, oh, the animal's picnic, the grand alphabet, chicken world. This was another one I found that I just, look at that illustration. Oh, beautiful. Aesop's fables. So this is the entire book. So you could actually download every single page in this book and put it back together again some way in changing it to make it your own. And it's all the pages of that book. Some great illustrations in here. The hen and the fox, the cat and the fox. And so because they are an aggregator, every image that you see is going to tell you where they got it. From the source was the Library of Congress, now, unfortunately, with the Library of Congress link here, if you wanted to see more about this, you are only going to be taken to the main site of the Library of Congress, so you'll have to remember the name of the book and type it into the search engine over there. But you can download everything right from here. Botanical. Look at here. Look at all these beautiful botanical images. There are just fabulous things. Let's see. Let's look at some more collections. What else do we have here? Lithographs. So you're going to find a lot of the old posters here. Hot air balloons. Oh. Look it. Looky, looky. I love it. So this is, like I said, a huge rabbit hole that you can fall down because you find this one image, you page down here, you can look for more images by the same artist. You can look for more images by the same topic. So let's see, down here, what if you wanted to look for balloons? You wanted to look for more balloons. All right, you're gonna get all kinds of balloons here, but maybe you want, look at this, you've got a timeline, 1699 to 2016. You don't want the modern ones, you wanna go back. So let's go, 1833. Now suddenly you've got a different set. Balloons. The man and the dog. Now see, I love that. It's the dog. Oh, it's a cat. It's not a dog. It's a cat. Let's see what other collections they have. Now one of the other things you can do is when you're in here, you can see more by this particular photographer. Maybe you only want to see group portraits. Maybe you only want to see children. So if we click on children, look at here. So now you've got 25, over 25,000 images, and we're time range from 799 to 2017. All right, let's search for something else. Let's search for, ooh, 
Before we search, let's just see what came up down here. Look at that. Maps. More medieval stuff. Oh. Beautiful. Let's look for circus. It's always interesting to see what people have for the circus. And remember, they are pulling this from lots of the other sites, so you could go to those other sites, but sometimes this search engine is a little bit easier to use to find what you're looking for. So I want to look at images, circus images, and I've got my timeline here, and I want to get rid of the modern stuff. I want to go 1865. That's a, Oh, look, clowns. That is really neat. Okay, that's from the Library of Congress. Now, let's see, now this tells you you can look for more clowns. I like this poster. Greater Minstrels. Look at that. 1905. And again, from the Library of Congress. So that is Pickroll. And they have got just tons of things from olden days to modern times, and they have sorted them out into various collections for you. Vintage ephemera, uh, these are just a lot of different collections, Victorian books, illustrations, photographs. Go check it out. It is a giant rabbit hole. Remember, they're pulling things from all over the country for you to put all over the world, actually, to dump into this giant website that is so easy to search. So that is Pickroll for you, and it is, remember, an aggregate site, which means that they are pulling these images from all over the world, from some of the other sites that you've possibly already visited, but I do think this search is a little bit easier to navigate, and you might have a better luck finding that special image that you're looking for. If you're having trouble using this site or any of the other sites that we visited on this journey, please let me know down in the comments and I will do my best to help you out. And if you're looking for something in particular, let us know because if not me, someone probably knows where to find that elusive image that you need for your next project. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye for now. I did a search for